Hey guys, Magic back here with another video for you guys. Just gonna quickly make this video to show you how to set up your own dedicated server in Valheim. It's a pretty straightforward process and uh, only only a couple steps required to do it. And um, first thing, of course, you're gonna want to have Valheim installed, um, but you're also gonna want to install the dedicated server tool. And so you're not gonna see it here right away in Steam unless you uh, showed the tools. For all the games in Steam. If we scroll down here, you can see there's Valheim dedicated server. So you're gonna want to install this as well. Uh, let's quickly jump into Valheim here, and um, I'm gonna show you a simple way to start a server uh, and a drawback that would come from going about it this way. Okay, so just you can hit start game. And this is a character I made just for booting up a new server. Okay, and um, in this case, we're going to want to just create a new world. Um, it can be called anything. I'm going to call mine server world. And what we can do right away is we can actually just hit start server. Uh, and this will launch the dedicated server software while you're running the game. And if you select community server, this is going to show up in the um, joinable games that you see here. So we'll just use the password password and we can actually just boot up the game here. And this can actually take a little bit of time to load because it is booting up the dedicated server software. So you just got to wait a moment. Okay. And what after felt like an eternity, we can see that we're in the server and um, this is now actually joinable for anybody why they can find it in that Svalheim browser or your friends they can uh, join the IP uh, join by IP as so long as they know the password so let's quickly look at how they are going to do that so when you want to join somebody else's server that they're hosting you can hit join game here Find it either in the server select or you can join by IP. And um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go ask your host for their IP. And what they can do is they can navigate to this website, myexternalip.com, and just grab this address here. So we're going to grab this address, put it into the IP, and hit connect. Now, obviously, this isn't going to work, uh, and this will time out because um, the server I made only is online so long as my character is in the game and that's kind of a really big drawback so if you only care about playing with your friends while you're playing <laughs> then you could you could go about it this way i'm going to show you now how to start up a server where you don't have to be online for your friends to play on your persistent world so first we're going to quit out of valheim and we're going to navigate to um, the Valheim dedicated server and so you're gonna have to navigate through the Steam and Steam apps and you can see they have a start headless server batch file so we can just copy and paste this guy and we can call it server world and we can actually go into this properties and edit them and there's just a couple things we're going to set up such that our uh, batch file where we'll work with our server. So this name can be anything. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call it the same thing as my world and the port. You can keep the same as 2456. But the world is server world and the password is password. And so we're just going to hit save on that. And then what I like to do is I like to create a shortcut and just throw this on my desktop. And so if I ever want to run the server, I can just start up the server from my desktop. And this will take a couple seconds to load. Um, but while that's loading, we're going to boot up Valheim as well. And we're going to now connect to our server as our friends would. So just like normal, start game, choose your character. And instead of starting it like we would from this screen, we're going to go join game. And we're going to take our IP that we had before and we're going to plug it into join IP. 
And so now we should be prompted with a password box. So we're gonna enter password. And now we can enter um, dedicated server that our friends can join and that we don't have to be present for persistent world to persist. And we can play with our friends and do Valheim things. Awesome. Okay, so we actually need to do one more step before we can actually allow our friends to play with us. And this is the port forwarding step. Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna to navigate to our router's um, IP, local IP, and um, this one is mine. And this is for my Linksys router here. Um, different routers will have different addresses to connect to, but it'll be quite similar to what we see here. Um, we'll log in and I'm just going to navigate to my port forwarding settings. And this is the port forwarding that you want to set up for Valheim with these ports, start port and end ports. And you want to make sure you're choosing either any, if you have the availability to do that, or specifically TCP and UDP. And then you're going to want to put in your local uh, machine's IP address that is hosting the server. And so to get this, you can navigate to command line, type in IP config slash all, and you can find your IPv4 address here. And you're gonna wanna plug this into um, this IP address box here to port forward properly. So then once you've saved that, um, you'll be able to have your friends join no problem and you can go around and be a Viking. That about wraps up this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I uh, hope you learned something new and enjoy playing Valheim with your friends. This is Magic, signing out.